pushed on towards his turret. Two men are coming in. Dominus is available for Mima. He needs to play this perfectly. They're going to go for him anyway. And there is the kick straight back. And that will be first blood. Almost looked too easy for Alliance in that point. They've got a couple of minions there. They can probably tank this one up long enough to take it down. Yeah, I don't think Alliance will do anything different. Mima is in trouble. He's going to get caught by Froggen. Oh, Froggen coming over the side. Wicked. Where's the pillar? Are they going to be able to lock him up? The slow is down. I don't see Mima escaping this one. He puts his ultimate in. But Froggen picks up the kill in the end. And that will give him such a nice boost to work with. He's now sat 2 0 0. Yeah. They want to keep Renekton down. Alliance also going to grab a touch. Shook's been caught. Oh, they're going all in on towards Shook here. Mixing. They're going to be focused by Froggen, but the damage is already there. Mooks will finally pick up the first kill of the game here for the Super Hot crew. And much needed for them as well, just to get Mooks rolling a little bit, if nothing else, just to keep up with where Froggen is. Grand Sky point. They don't want the splash. They've caught Mixer. They're going in. Froggen coming in from the side. The Hawk landing on towards Mixer, and Mixer's going to go down before he can do much. They do get a kill back on towards Slash, but Rawls is dead. This is bad, bad news for the Super Hot crew, and now they're going to chase down Mooks. Can they? Oh, he goes through Mima. Not sure how he didn't block that one, but now he's going to be chased down by the rest of the team. That's four men dead for the Super Hot crew. And honestly, Alliance lost one man. Froggen took a little bit of a beating, but they're going to just back off straight to Barrett. Yeah, by the blue wolf. Mima's probably not the target he wants, but he'll have a bit of free damage onto him if he can. And actually, it's more than a bit of damage. Half of his health going down. They've managed to land in on towards Junko. Can they actually finish him off from this one? Taps is off to the side. He's not doing any damage in the fight up until now, but they don't even look like they need him. Wicked is in there as well. Tabs is going to pick up that kill on towards Impaler. A good double kill does come back around though for Mooks. And will the Super Hot crew be able to do anything about this one? I don't think that Alliance are strong enough to risk Baron and Super Hot crew are pushing up mid. At bay. Now they're trying to get some auto attacks down, but this is very risky. Wicked's going to get Mr. Ross. Oh, look at that. The hook lands in as well from Nip. Ross is not escaping that one. Tabs going very aggressive at the start of things. They lost a lot of HP, but that's what's setting up because Ross the only other chance. Flash hook in towards Moot. Here comes the rest of the team. Tabs will finish off with a 90 caliber net. And that is another two kills nicely picked up for Alliance. And now it is working for him. Alliance are now on the inhibitor turret. Impaler's going to do the best he can, but he may just give up his, uh, his life. Well, they're going to go on to this one. Solar Flare came down. Tabs has taken a lot of damage. Will they be able to finish him off? Miner's in. Ignite is down. He's life stealing back, but the kill does land. From Mixer, that gets down one important person that's trying to have a go at Wicked, but he is so ridiculously tanky at this point. There's another play. Shuck is going to finish off Impaler. Mixer won't escape Frog and Trap, and that's three men now down. Mr. Ross has respawned into it. They're going to take the Indian back off to Baron. Yeah. Dangerous position. We'll see if that comes in again. There's a hook on towards Mixer. He's going to die before the rest of the team can do anything about it. And with that man down, all their initiation, or not all of it, but, well, it is really all of it that is gone now. How are they going to stop this from happening? It's going to be all or nothing. Yeah, Alliance completely melted. If they got the kill, they're going to secure themselves a Baron. Super Hot Crew are going to go for this last ditch effort. They've started on the inner turret. They're going to trade inner turret for Baron. The problem is, I don't think they can continue. The steal! No. no. Close though, very close. I had to read twice there as to who had actually taken that one. Impaler though, he's stuck inside of that Baron pit. He's got Froggen to contend with. They're gonna take down the inhibitor uh, here as well. Not quite the inhibitor because Super Hot Crew decided we have to escape from this one. We have to get away and look at the troll beasting around the corner. Ah, his Banshee stops one from the Flame Choppers. Doesn't stop him getting away. Now Mima going to be hit by the Q. He was slowed by the Randuins. Froggen is there as well. And Mima trapped up inside this blue buff pit. Might be able to take a blue buff with him. Not even that. Froggen gets that and the kill. Meanwhile, Tabs did take down Zix. Uh, that was actually at the back. I don't know where Mooks was even going from that one. He headed off behind the inner turret on the bottom lane. That's three men down. A minute spawn timer on Moops and Mima. 20 seconds on Impaler. Alliance might be able to take a few more things out of the base of the Super Hot crew. They may even try push to finish the game. This is a quick replay of Moops getting caught out. You can see that's the ace in the hole going down. I think minions are going to work in his favor. Tabs will get the last auto attack. But we do see the rest of Alliance in the base. They've got a lot of damage to play with. He's just starting on the bottom. Fairly easy moves, just trying to get away, not working out. And this is another turret for Alliance. Another inhibitor by the looks of things. Don't see what Super Hot Crew can do to stop that one. 
that means that these super minions are going to start streaming in. For me, Alliance are strong enough right now to head straight up onto that top lane and have a go on the third and final inning turret, or maybe even head towards the Nexus turret. They are going to be going for that one. Frogan dives in towards the back to do the damage. The first Nexus turret going to go low. Tabs gets hit by the Solar Flare, but he's got a GA. He doesn't care. He gets a kill. Second man goes down. Now it's all down to Impaler, who will be burst to pieces as well. He took Frogan with him, but that's not enough. Moops and Mime are now coming back into the game. Well, the Nexus turrets are already gone. The Nexus itself is down to less than half HP. And Alliance going to pick up their first victory of Super Week over the Super Hot crew. I'm